we're going to play with ego pose today and get into it a little bit more deeply. I know some of you have a, a love-hate relationship with ego pose. Some of you have a hate relationship with ego pose. I love it. It's called Dharandasana, technically, and uh, let's just have fun with ego pose today. So go ahead and stand up. I'm going to turn your side. You stay facing the camera. And I want you to first come into Utkatasana. So your big toes are touching, heels are back, pressing into the mat. Look down. We'll build it from the bottom. Make sure you can see your toes. If not, bring your knees back a little further. Pull your shoulders down and back. Reach up. Sit as low as you can. Breathe. And come out. Okay, so that's how we're going to start with ego. And if you have a block or a pillow, it's about about the height of a block, go ahead and grab that because sometimes it's really helpful to have a block. I think ego is one of those poses that you're going to find some days it's great, some days it's not. It just has to do with how your balance is that day. I try to have fun with it and laugh when I come out of a pose. It'll probably happen today. So let's just have some fun with uh, learning a little bit more about Garandasana, the ego. So I want you to place your block or your pillow next to your left foot. Press your toes, big toes together. Look down and have your heels separated so that you can probably place about a quarter between your heels. Stand up nice and tall. Draw your shoulders up to your ears and then bring them down and back. Palms open to the sides. Just breathe. Press into your left foot, sit back into that Utkatasana type pose, and bring your right leg over your left. And for the first step, I just want you to press your toes on that block or on the floor beside you. Bend your hips and your shoulders and the top of your head into a straight line if you can, and bring your arms out to the side. Now press into your feet, press into the toes of your right foot, Press into the X that you can imagine on the bottom of your left foot. Squeeze your thighs together. Try to draw your thighs towards each other and back. Relax your shoulders again. Now, your right leg is over, your right arm is under. Bring your right arm under your left. Bring your hands together to press together. If that doesn't feel good, because you're pretty muscular, muscul muscular, <laughs> muscly, bring your palms together, elbows together. Really good option, right here. Let's take a break because that left leg. Whew. <laughs> so we'll do a little bit on the other side. So now your your block is. Beside your right foot. Okay. So remember that Ukkatasana pose. Bring your toes on your left foot over your right leg. Press them on a block or the floor. Squeeze your thighs together. Left leg is over. This time left arm is under. Palms come together. Breathe in. Sit down into it, hug your ribs together, breathe out. Pull the pit of your belly up towards your spine, up towards your heart and back towards your spine, good. Breathe. You might have this little loop between your wrists that you can look between. Have a soft gaze, lift your elbows forward and up a tad. Really feel this wonderful stretch in the back of your shoulders. Ah. Now, that's another little bit of ego. Let's get the block out of the way. Use it if you, if you still want to. This is where I might have to, have to laugh. <laughs> so, press into your left foot. Right leg over. 
Get your right knee high. See if you can wrap your right foot behind your leg and hook it. If you've got this, take your right hip back, square yourself back towards the front of the room, and then right arm under, <laughs> left arm. You see, this is tricky for me. I tend to stick this foot out to the side. So squeeze, another option is to squeeze your thighs together. Just stick that foot out to the side, flex your toes. You're pressing into your left leg, and this is a workout. <laughs> Let's do it on the other side. Sometimes one side will work for you to wrap. So another way to look at it, right foot down, left leg over, left leg nice and high. You're in a bit of a Nukatasana pose. Right foot wraps, top of your toes, wrap your calf, left arm under, and you're there. Breathe in and out. Or stick your foot out to the side or put it down on the floor. Feel that wonderful stretch through your shoulders. Breathe deeply. And you've done it. Eagle pose, Garandasana. Thanks for joining me. I hope that helps some of you out with some of the little nuances of eagle. Have a great day.